So we're joined by Madeline Molgat, who qualifies as our taster here because not only is she my daughter, but she turned vegan on us, what is it, about two, two years ago? Two years ago now. And now before we get to try this burger, have you tried many uh, vegan attempts at burgers? Yes, I have. Yeah. And, and what's your general impression? Um, sometimes they're trying to be meat, sometimes they're just being vegetables. It really all depends. Like right. What you're looking for. And what type do you generally like? The ones that are really mimicking meat or ones that are just celebrating their vegetableness? Well, I'm not the biggest meat person, so I, I like the bean burgers and things like that. But if you're really trying to get that satisfying meat, then yeah. you've got to go for something like this. And when you first heard that A&W was introducing a vegetarian slash vegan option, you mentioned something. You wanted to try it. Yes, that's right. I like that they have more accessible vegan options for different people to try. Right. And for people transitioning into the lifestyle. Right. And one of the reasons you are vegan is that you like the politics of it. You think that's what people should be doing. You want more people to do it. That's so, right. So if a fast food place is making it possible to be vegetarian maybe or possibly vegan, mm -hmm. all the better? Exactly. Okay, so now's our chance to try this. We got two burgers. One is the fully vegan that has no mayonnaise on it for Madeline to try it. Now hold off for just a moment. And the one I got is vegetarian because it, again, has the mayonnaise on it. So we don't have a drum roll here, but uh, the tension is building. So why don't you have a, have a bite? And don't, don't feel you need to speak immediately with your <laughs> mouth full because that can be awkward. But have a, have a nice, substantial bite of that and you think about whether or not you like it. And while you're doing that, I'll just, we'll just sit back and kill time here for a minute. Um, it just all of a sudden, Madeline just one day said, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to eat meat anymore. So that happened. But it's been interesting how it's changed our diet over time, having to make food for everybody to fit that mold. So, okay. Do you have a clear enough mouth? Are you, are you ready to react to the taste yeah. of the burger? I mean, I don't know if I remember correctly, but I think this tastes like meat. Really? Yeah, like... In a good yeah. way? Like a fond meat? Like a, a little off-putting for myself, but like... Because it really seems it that really much does. like it's meat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, just talk a little bit about how you find that burger while I have a taste myself, because I don't want to speak with my mouth. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I've read a bit about this, and I know it's made out of various vegetables, which is a lot healthier for you than flesh, but yeah, mm -hmm. Yeah, it does, it does do quite a job of tasting quite a bit like meat. Mm -hmm. I think I would give it a, it's not the greatest burger I've had in my life, but it's <laughs> good, it's a good burger. I'd give that a thumbs up. Yeah. Would you give it a thumbs up? Absolutely. Two thumbs up for the A&W Beyond Burger, thanks for watching Kelowna Now.